Morning guys, Mark Farashi with ProTech Dog Training with my coronavirus diaries. Just a little more comments since I don't know if you guys are uh, getting your head in this spot. Some of you probably are, to be honest with you. But reality and truth, our biggest fear is ourselves. Because we've got to deal with the fear, the apprehension, everything else. That yesterday, I guess, a guy tried to take a train into the Freedom Mercy Hospital off the Los Angeles coast. What an idiot off the dock there. But um, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The, the stress causes the crazy to come out, okay? And people do stupid things they would never do before, other than that, okay? Dealing with people, you know how it gets you. Fighting over toilet paper, you know? But that's, uh, that's the small end. The large end is the, the crazies that are hiding survivalists and those that are predicting the end of the world and hoarding their guns. And these suckers are gonna start being idiots. And uh, we're going to end up having to do it. And, I, and this is what I talked about earlier. And this is what I want you to be aware of. Very easy for him to, in this situation, declare a national emergency and lock everything down the military. And the military will feel that this needs to be done. And before you know it, he is upsetting our flow of our election. And we won't be able to vote his ass out of office. And that's what he's going to try to create and create a dear leader type syndrome. Believe me, that's what's gonna happen. And that will ruin and take away our democracy if we let it. We can't let it, okay? That's the only thing we have. We've gotta go back to a state of normalcy and not let this these guys do what they're doing. It's just ridiculous. Um, this is getting scary. And I had a friend tell me this morning he's worried about us going to war with Iran. Well, that's exactly the sort of thing that stress of the world magnitude that's happening right now will end up causing. The stress of um, needing water, uh, the stress of needing food. These are the things that cause humans to be humans. And I've always said it. I've said it for years. We are the last link in the chain. That means that every animal eats the next animal and it goes right up the chain to us. We've always been the supreme being on the, on the earth. And reality is, our last failing is our inability to stay uh, not wanting to kill each other and not going into war and, and pushing the button for nuclear or whatever it is. We are the last chain in that link. We will kill ourselves, okay? And that's exactly what I'm worried about, um, that it gets to that point. I didn't think I'd be on the earth to be able to see something like this happen, but it's scary. These are some of the things that could happen. Um, we are the last chain in the link, and uh, it's going to get dangerous. So be safe out there, be careful, and realize that... Uh, Panic's not a friend. It's something you need to kind of step back away from and realize and think and be clear-headed, you know, about what you need to do to protect your home and your family and to get through these times that are going to get worse, people. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be scary. It's very scary. And uh, we don't have a strong leader that can keep it in check, and that's the problem. Uh, we need strong leadership. We need to get that gentleman out of office and... Uh, and uh, vacated from the seat and, and get a an, an very clear-headed leader type uh, leadership at the top of our, our situation. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.